Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Deepak here. Today I am going to explain you about Python if elif conditions. So whenever we are talking about the conditional statement, it always plays a very important role when we are working with nested type of condition or we will need multiple conditions each and to each and every conditions. So that time. Elif condition will play a very important role so that we can cover every components and to be conditional state. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing the bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with the actual content of Python if elif condition. In my previous session, I have already explained about the if statement. So, in this session, I will not going to cover this one. I am directly jumping to if elif condition, and after that, I will show you an example. And once example is done, I will give you important tips about this. So let's start the actual part. So, elif statement. Or the elif condition is used to include multiple conditional expression between if and else. So you can see here in the syntax if condition, then there is a block of code or statement. Then elif condition that is second one, and again there is a block of code. You can write the multiple elif conditions in between if and else. So here you can see that I have already written some of these statements in between if and else, and we can use it according to our requirement. So there can be multiple elif blocks. However, there is only else block is allowed. So one if and one else in between that multiple elif condition will be allowed. So elif statement enables us to check multiple conditions. And execute the specific block of statements depending upon the true condition among them. We can have any number of elif statement in our program depending upon our need. However, using elif is optional. So, if you want to use it, definitely you can go ahead. It's totally fit with your requirement. Then you can use it. Otherwise, it's optional condition. But if and else always required when we are working multiple conditions like true and false type of statement. So let's check in example part and do the online or use the online editor. I have already explained you about this in my previous session. If you did not watch that, I will mention the link in. My description tab. You can do for that. So let's begin with writing the code. Just like if I am using any number n equal to one, two, three, and I want to display this as a how many digits of number is this? So like if I want to show here as a is it is less than n, then less than sorry, because when we are working with n number of uh, n number, so zero to one is a decimal number. So we can take here as a nine and nine 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 in three digit, but when we are working for two digit, digit, it's definitely show off for nine nine. Then print the value. Print. This is two digit. Two digit number. So if number is lying between nine to nine nine nine. Is two digit. Then let's 
check for other conditions like elif so let's use elif and provide the number if number is in between 99 to triple 9 so n here triple 9 then print print let me copy and paste this it's three digit number let's again iterate like if or elif number triple nine to four times nine then print print four digit number at the end if we want to print print the greater value then we will need else and inside the else i will show you print in between double quotes number is number is greater than or equal to 9 or less than or equal to 4 times 999 let me run this and see when we are entering the value n equal to 1 to 3 then how it looks so we have provided here 1 to 3 because of that it's printing 3 digit number let me increase the count see now we will get four digit number and at the end if i want to check this condition let me use this now you can see finally it prints the else condition because it it will not satisfy this condition because of that it's printing like this let me check for single digit or one you can see here it's again printing in between this let me increase up to nine then also it will print same message but when i am entering 10 then it will definitely print two digit number so by this way if you want to compare or print the value which contains two digit three digit and four digit less than or more than also we can print it so this is the use of elif condition so let's recap this we have started with a statement then we move the basic concept of elif statement and we have checked about the syntax of elif statement which contains if if con if else condition in between that we are providing elif and n number of cycle we can introduce but if and else is always a mandatory parameters required for entering the value then we have checked about the programming part and did some program and we have found that by using one example we have seen that we can print the n number of variables by showing its digit we can also compare that so by this way we have learned about an if condition hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon thank you for watching